Upgrades are a brilliant way of not only improving your mountain biking experience, they're also a fantastic way to transform the performance and reliability of your bike. And in this video, we're gonna show you six things you can do to get the most out of your mountain biking experience. In this video, we're gonna show you the best bang for buck upgrades you can make and explain the difference they'll make to your ride. We're not gonna hang about as we've got a lot to go through. We're just gonna get straight into it. So don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. All right, let's dive in. First up, and it will come as no surprise, one of the most common components to upgrade is of course your tires. It is incredible how much difference you can notice when running a better set of tires, especially tires designed for the terrain you're riding on. A poor set of rubber is going to end in a poor ride. Simple as. Whether they're the wrong tread pattern and compound for your trails or just simply worn out, consider throwing some money towards a decent set of tyres. Like everything we're going to talk about, there are cheap and expensive options, but we'd recommend against skimping on tyres. They're the only contact point between your bike and the ground, so they are critical to ensuring you feel comfortable and ready to handle anything that comes your way. With better tyres, you're going to have better grip on the trails thanks to advanced rubber compounds and improved rolling resistance. You'll also get better puncture resistance and more durable tyre construction as well. And if you're wanting to make your bike as light as possible, expensive tyres tend to be lighter, so ideal if you're trying to shave off a few grams. Your tyres are the contact between the ground and the bike, but as the rider, your contact points with the bike are also well worth upgrading. There's a bit to go through here, so we'll break it up into three sections. First off, let's look at this, the cockpit. One of the simplest, fastest and cost-effective ways to upgrade your bike is to change your handlebar, stem and grips. Your handlebar is ultimately responsible for how you control and handle your bike. Upgrades here will help you customise your fit and help you achieve better control and efficiency when out on the trails. Depending on the type of bike you have and the rider you are, you have a few things to consider. If you're a cross-country rider, you might prefer a longer stem with narrower bars. This will help you to be in a better position when standing or when climbing. For downhill riders, a wider bar generally will give you more leverage through the corners, so you'll be feeling super confident attacking those descents. And for you enduro or trail riders, it's sort of in between. You want handlebars that can give you more control for the downhills without being too wide when you need to get into the perfect pedaling position. It really is down to what you prefer. Go and have a look at some different bar and stem combinations and see what you think works best for you. I will say, try and find the middle ground, what is right for you and fitting in between those trees. Grips are something that can vary from person to person. When you buy a bike, it might come with really nice, comfy grips, or it could come with thin, hard, compact grips. Neither of these are wrong. It's down to you, the rider, to find out what works best. It also depends on the size of your hands. Grips come in a wide variety of designs. You can choose thin grips if you have small hands or thick grips if you want extra cushioning. You can also get ergonomic grips and super tacky grips. Your grips will wear over time, so this might be something you upgrade first on your bike. You don't have to spend mega bucks and they're super simple to remove and install. So you don't have to be a professional mechanic to give your setup a little bit of love. The next contact point you will have with your bike is your pedals. If you're a beginner and you're watching this video right now and you have a pair of these pedals, do yourself a favour. After you've watched this video, go and buy yourself a decent pair of pedals. These pedals are okay to get you moving, but if it's wet or bumpy on the trails, your feet are going to be bouncing off these. And you will have so much more fun if you get yourself a pair of decent pedals. Trust me. It's important to not underestimate having good pedals. There are so many options out there. So many different shapes, colours and designs. Your pedals connect you to your bike and in return are responsible for that power transfer to make your bike move. Getting yourself a decent pair of pedals will help with that power transfer. You'll be able to put more power through the pedals, helping you go faster, further and ultimately have more fun. For mountain biking, you have two options when it comes to pedals. You can run flat pedals or clipless pedals. There are even hybrid pedals, but we'll leave them for now. Flat pedals have a nice large platform area with metal pins in them to help your feet stay in place by gripping to the bottom of your shoes. Whereas for clipless pedals, your shoe is clipped into the pedal, locking your foot in place. 
Both of them have their advantages. With a flat pedal, you can obviously get your foot on and off the pedal more easily and they're great for practicing and learning skills. Clipless pedals offer more security when descending and you can have better power transfer too. Whatever pedals you choose, they're a vital upgrade in being able to control your bike better and become a more confident rider. The last contact point I want to talk about is this, the saddle. Not the sexiest part on a bike, but one that is worth talking about. If you're not sitting comfortably on your bike, you're not going to enjoy the ride. It will more than likely make you want to cut your ride short. Yes, okay, as mountain bikers, you're going to be out of your saddle for part of the ride. But when you are sitting, or if you're out for a long day adventure, having a comfortable seat is priceless. As with all of these contact points, whichever one is right for you will be for you alone to decide. There's more choice than there ever has been, and many saddle brands have clever fitting guides to pair you with the right saddle. Bottom line is, if you have a more comfortable saddle, that's going to lead to a far more enjoyable ride. Not a common sight on entry level bikes, a dropper seat post is honestly the most game changing upgrade you can make to your bike. Just ask anyone who uses one. If you don't know what one is, a dropper as it's commonly called is a seat post that can be raised or lowered while on the bike with a simple push of a button. Not very complicated, but the benefits are amazing. When approaching steep descents or trail features, using your weight and with one click of a button, you can drop your saddle out of the way, helping you to get into a more appropriate riding position to handle the trail ahead of you. Once you've finished, simply click the button again and the saddle will rise back up. And let's be honest, if you're new to mountain biking and you're trying to get used to getting on and off your bike without falling all over the place, a dropper post makes it even easier to hop on and off, especially if you're clipped in. Being able to adjust your saddle height at any given time without the need for a multi-tool or without the need to even get off your bike is incredibly convenient. With the dropper, you're going to be able to handle steep terrain and features much more easily. You're going to be able to have a consistent saddle height which can be adjusted on the fly. And this will help you try and avoid aches in your knees or back from having a saddle that's too low down for you. They used to be very expensive when they first came out, but now they're relatively affordable with plenty to choose from. There are even wireless and electronic dropper posts now. No matter what your budget or style, there'll be a dropper to suit you. This last upgrade hasn't got anything to do with your bike. This is an upgrade you can make to yourself. If you're new to cycling, chances are you have some gym or active wear knocking about the house that you've thrown on to go out and have a spin on your bike. But trust me, you will benefit from buying some cycling specific clothing. You'll be more comfortable, efficient and more protected on the bike, which will lead to you having a more enjoyable ride. Let's take a quick look at different types of clothing you should consider when heading out on your bike. We do have a full in-depth video in each of these areas. To watch that, just click up there. It doesn't matter if you're riding in the freezing cold or boiling hot temperatures. You will still want to have a jersey that offers good breathability, has sweat wicking properties and good ventilation. This will stop you overheating and will keep you feeling comfortable, helping you to enjoy your ride for longer. The right pair of cycling shorts will keep you dry, comfortable and warm or cool. If you're riding in a hot climate or you're someone who sweats a lot during a ride, you might want to look at shorts with cooling vents. And for storage, a selection of cargo pockets as well as a zip secured pocket for valuables is pretty common. If you prefer to have your legs covered, mountain biking trousers are comfortable and offer a good on the bike fit for easy riding and efficient pedaling. The main benefit of trousers over shorts is that they keep your legs warm, dry and clean when riding wet trails. This means at the end of a ride, all the mud goes with them instead of staying on your legs. If you're new to cycling, it's common for people to use normal shoes when heading out on the bike. But once you feel more comfortable on the bike and the trails, it's time to purchase a pair of mountain bike specific shoes. Mountain bike shoes will have a whole host of features we should really cover in a separate video. But to give you the quick lowdown, mountain bike shoes will have better grip on the sole, so you'll feel more secure on your pedals. You will no doubt encounter some obstacles on the trail, so that's why mountain bike shoes offer more protection. Each shoe will be different, but it's common to find a reinforced toe area and a bit of heel protection too. They will also help you with the elements. There are so many options for shoes. You can find one to suit the environment you ride in. You can even get shoes that are fully waterproof and can help against the cold. Believe me, these are an amazing investment if you're riding in similar conditions to me. And we better not forget gloves. Gloves not only protect your hands, but they give you added grip. Super useful if you have sweaty hands or your hands keep slipping off your grips. They also offer some palm protection in the event of a crash. 
And there you go, upgrades you can do to make your mountain biking experience even more enjoyable. Have you tried any of these yourself? Or maybe you'd have some of your own ideas to share. Either way, comment down below and let us know.